All right. Summer year one, day 21. Let's go. Okay, with another bar, we can make another key. The amaranth is ready. I can make a alchemy thing out of it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm digging the mail. Hello, citizens. Remember to mark your calendar because the annual beach barbecue is coming up on the 28th. There will be a hot dog eating contest as well as a wonderful things for sale by various vendors. We hope to see you there. Those who wish to attend, speak with Bernard in Town Square on the 28th. Cool. I'm so going to be there. Well, let's go. Mmm. Lovely. For every hard game with each romanceable character, it grants mana. Yep. So let's see if my mana goes up. It's at 327. Whoa, it did. I should probably be eating these apples and oranges for max health. I don't really need it right now. And there are things I want to buy, so we'll just keep doing that. We're going to keep selling. And juice and stuff. So this is going to get sold out, right? It can't be juiced. Uh, this can be juiced. Apples can be juiced. This doesn't do anything for them anymore, so we're going to juice that too. These should still... 49, 50, 11, 108. Okay, so that's too many. Three apples. This gives health increased. Okay, yeah. Health increased. Also health increased. And they're separate. So yeah, at some point, we should be eating these. How much are these worth? 40? I think after I don't need it right now after I get uh, stuff sold let's make it rain after I buy the house and animals I'll start eating all the fruit by then the animals should be making me money and I won't necessarily need the jam, the juice to do that.
Okay, let's make sure everything got watered. I should save a few of these plants. So like some of these honeysuckles I should save. I bet at some point I'm gonna need them for crafting. So, I want to turn these into more seeds. <clears throat> so, a couple lemons. I need that, and we're keeping that. Let the juicing begin. Sand dollar and clam. Okay. Have I eaten a hundred of these yet? Nope. So I should keep eating the seaweed. Provides a very small amount of mana permanently. And we're going to sell this. Sell that. Okay, what do I need to make this potion? Just mana. This is more crops. We're going to call it crops. I have three lemons. We'll save like five of each. Three apples in there. Take that. They don't need to be in there. Hmm. Amaranth, sure, we'll hold on to it. Maybe somebody will want it or use it for crafting or something. Okay.
Okay, selling that. And this one is still making me throw. So we'll hold on to the bars. All right, I have three keys. Thank you. Anything else? We're going to sell that stuff and then back into the mines. Oh, I see some Mithra over there. Let's grab that. A diamond. Gold. Keep unlocking these doors. There's a chest here. We'll grab that really fast. Some ore here. Sure. One more Mithril key, and then I'm out. All right, we need to start looking for the rusty key now. Here's a couple pieces of ore. There's some gold there too. I will take that. Oh, the key, nice. All 
All right. Next level. Mining level up. Unlocks ability to craft mana tomes at the anvil in addition. Mana tome recipes cost less. No. What's this one? Grants chance for your pickaxe to deal splash damage. And this one. Enemies in the mines have a 25% chance to drop fire crystal. Each day, one of powerful buffs. Currency in the mines is skill trees is increased. Sure, we'll do splash damage. Increases the chance to critically strike nodes when mining. Ooh, that would speed things up. Reduces the crafting cost of items. Reduces the crafting cost of items at the anvil. Oh, yeah. That'd make everything going forward cheaper. Like all keys and armor and everything. That one's really good. That one's going to bring that one next. Unlocks recipe for skill tomes at the anvil. Skill tomes grant one skill point to any profession in any... Skill tome recipe. Whoa, yep. Breaking a gem node with a pickaxe restores mana. Okay, cool, cool. All right, got the key. I thought I saw me throw it. Yeah, right here. Next level. Just straight up sell that. Let's see if there's any nodes around here. There's some up there. Next level. Thank you. 
or right here. There's a piece of ore right there. Level 38. Oh my god. Okay, that looks like everything on this side. There was another side on the right. Let's see if there's any ore over there. I got 29 Mithra, that's fantastic. Combat level up. Does agility work on pickaxes? It says increases attack speed of swords and tools. Okay, what does it say on the tooltip here? Use speed 11. Okay, let's try it. Use speed is still 11. I don't think it works on tools. I should have checked the other tools also. Oh, yeah, look right here. Carrot Sword has attack speed. This has use speed. Okay, no, they're definitely different then. It would say attack speed, like on the axe, attack speed. So it works for the axe, but not the pickaxe. The pickaxe has a use speed, not an attack speed. The scythe has an attack speed. The hole has a use speed. Okay, so it doesn't work on the pickaxe, which is what I wanted to work on. Okay. That's fine. It does work on the axe, though, so it might actually be worth getting for the axe. Cut down stuff faster. 10% faster. We'll see. We'll see what the other skills offer. And if they're just not that appealing, I could do 10% increase axe speed. Which I do plan to have swords also. Uh, so it could still be worth. It's also good with the scythe. Although I don't know how useful that is. <laughs> now that I think about it, you really only use that for crops. It's not, it's not that useful. The axe one is nice. Chop down trees faster. That's pretty nice.
Ooh, that's new. What are you? Havenite. Ooh. 300 gold? Wow. Make a fortune just selling that stuff then. See how, let's see how abundant it is going forward. Well, this could make the gem perk lucrative then. I'm assuming this is a gem. It must be a gem. Hmm. Wait, why am I mining this stuff? Okay, I have the rusty key. Let's go to the next level. We're getting closer to the bottom. Ooh, I see some more over there. Right there. Mining level up. Reduces the crafting cost of items at the anvil. Yes, absolutely. Make my keys cheaper. Make everything cheaper. Sunite or ooh, new ore type. Very cool. Stone. Time to go. I'll unlock the next level with the temp key just to see what's on level 40 and what to expect. On one floor, there was a, a raccoon and he wanted bribery to get past. <laughs> Let's see if uh, there's one of those guys on one of these floors on the 40 floor now. Freaking extortion, man. There is. What the hell are you doing over here? Walking away. It's your big butt. What did I get? I got 2,000 coins, amethyst, iron ring, and glorite. And an achievement, expert spelunker. Iron ring. A simple looking iron ring. It has actually been enchanted to impact increased strength to its wear. 
It gives attack damage, attack uh, spell damage, 75 gold per day for free. Yep. What's this? 20% chance to gain an extra forageable. I kind of like that since I am doing a lot of orchards. Okay, let's see what this guy wants. What do you want, sir? Or muncher? I can hear this big fella stumble grumbling from here. Maybe it would help. Maybe it would wake up if I brought it some food. I wonder what it likes. You want stone, adamant, mithril, diamonds. Okay, well, I can give you some of that stuff right now. And... Oh, he wants a whole stack of stone. Of course you do. Of course. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? I'm not giving the Mithril. I still need the Mithril for keys. Oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. I gotta go. Oh my god. So I still want to smelt this stuff. Don't know if I'm going to have much time for anything else. I would like to collect the juices and sell them, but it's getting a little close on time. I definitely want to put this stuff to smelt. Let's focus on that. Everything else is going to have to wait. All right, we'll sort everything and sell stuff in the morning. Now it's time for bed. Z, 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 z. Would you like to sleep? Yes.